Hello and welcome. You're watching Times Now. I'm Pratibha. Let's get you some breaking news that's just coming in. While Leicester and UK witness fresh violence, the fighting being witnessed on the streets. The TMC spokesperson has now put the blame on Hindus for the attacks. Reviving the saffron terror narrative, a TMC Neta stoking a controversy, saying it's time the UK and other countries flag the threat of Hindutva extremism. The TMC blaming Hindus for the attack and reviving the saffron terror narrative. Let's uh, take a look at the tweet that has uh, come in. Saket Gokhale has uh, tweeted saying after the shocking events in Leicester, it's time the UK and other countries flag the threat of Hindutva extremism. This has repercussions on India's internal security and democracy. These overseas extremist groups also fund the BJP. If not curbed, this threat will only grow. That's a reaction coming in from the TMC leader on the Leicester violence that broke out. Remember, as of now, a probe has been ordered on what exactly happened. There are two conflicting claims on one side. A few reports that claim that there was a provocation with Jay Sh Shri Ram chants being uh, given out on the streets. On the other side, the other version of it is that Hindus were targeted. Madhav is joining us live on the broadcast with more details. Madhav, a reaction coming in from the TMC, taking on the extremism, reviving the saffron terror. This, even as the probe is going on, reports also coming in of several Hindus being attacked. Well, of course. Uh, in fact, uh, we have seen here in India a huge amount of outrage yesterday in terms of what has taken place in Leicester. And Leicester, of course, being one of the largest settlements uh, of uh, Indians and in particular, of course, of Hindus outside of the country in that sense, uh, and particularly in Europe uh, in that sense. And uh, therefore, of course, uh, a lot of outrage where, in fact, we had seen uh, flags being burnt, in fact, being broken outside a temple and not just, in fact, uh, Hindu symbols and vehicles of uh, those belonging to the Hindu faith being attacked yesterday. But... Uh, a lot of those videos which raise some serious questions as to what really was happening. While it all may have started off uh, with an India versus Pakistan match, what it really spiraled into is something that had shocked many and in fact uh, the police and other authorities are looking into what exactly had sparked off the entire series of incidents there. At a time like this uh, uh, when uh, really the police should be allowed to do its job, uh, this kind of allegation saying that it is because of Hindutva organizations that such kind of an accident, uh, that such an incident, I beg your pardon, has taken place is certainly a very, very controversial statement coming in from an opposition leader. And in the past also we have seen the debate uh, where in fact uh, comments that were made and many would say that perhaps uh, comments are uh, made without adequate scrutiny as to who was uh, the uh, person responsible for actually carrying out this violence. Jumping to conclusions in a manner like this uh, is something that certainly is going to raise some very, very serious political questions as to why in fact that is being done. Is it only with a political purpose that uh, this kind of uh, uh, incident is being looked into without looking at the facts on ground and what really has transpired. Back to you, Pratima. That's right. And uh, Madhav, this also comes at a time when several parties are talking of Islamophobia. This is a kind of Hindu phobia that is being spread by the TMC leader. As of now, like you mentioned, the probe is still on. There are contradictory reports. Uh, some, of course, say the provocation came from the group of uh, uh, Hindus who were on the streets. But on the other hand, there are also reports that are coming in that they were at the end of the target. They were the ones who were targeted. At a time like this, when a probe is going on, the TMC leader reviving this yet again talking about saffron terror. Well, absolutely. In fact, in fact, let me just quickly read out that particular tweet that's coming from Saket Gokhale, who is in fact a spokesperson of, uh, in fact, the, the TMC. He says that after the shocking events in Leicester, it's time the UK and other countries flag the threat of Hindutva extremism. He's also used the word saying that this has repercussions on India's, in, India's internal security and democracy. These overseas extremist groups also fund the BJP. If not curbed, this threat okay. will only grow. So, uh, in fact, completely looking at uh, uh, or overlooking the role of the other side which has gone ahead and attacked the temple while there is no clarity on which right. side perhaps was responsible for it Absolutely. the fact is also and that Hindu Madhav government... also leaving out that a Hindu temple has also been targeted there not making a mention of that at all let's quickly take in a BJP reaction as well that's coming in the BJP has hit out at the TMC asking them to call out the hate against Hindus why a clean shit already in a case that's uh, underway where probe is still going on the BJP asking the TMC to take a stand and call out hate against Hindus. Well, he is not blaming the real culprits. 
the real culprits are the radical Islamists in UK. And then it's the local government of UK which is also accepting that. But for the vote bank politics, they will, they will paint a different picture here. It will be appreciated that he should read and understand what's happening on the ground. The fact is that Islamist radicals are on, on search and then they are not allowing any Hindu activity in areas where they have dominance. Pranesh is jo uh, also joining us on the broadcast. Uh, Ms. Anila Singh of the BJP also with us. Ms. Anila Singh, the TMC saying that this is the extremism, the saffron terror. Uh, that's a word that has been revived again by the TMC now, not calling out the hate against Hindus, instead blaming the Hindus for what happened. My Ram Ram to everyone and this is a real face whether we talk about the Congress or whether we talk about TMC or Samajwadi Party. They are deep into appeasement politics and under this appeasement politics they even do not care whether the sentiments of Hindus uh, they are hurt or not. The thing is uh, if they are not reacting positively towards Hindus on this incident what to say? It is very unfortunate. Majority population of our country has to face the wrath, has to face the wrath of uh, appeasement. Until date, we are uh, facing colonialism in one way or the other. And this is the mindset. It has to be changed. If they are not going to change it, then definitely people of our country, they are going to reply. The incidents which we have seen in UK, I'm pretty sure that the UK government is going to handle it very properly. And they are going to have some respect for the sentiments of the majority population living in India and uh, a big uh, percentage in UK itself. And I really hope that political parties, they should rise above this appeasement.